Ryan, thank you. Going in depth now as we inch closer to Election Day, we wanted to take a closer look at what is and is not allowed at polling places. Our Mary O'Connell is digging into the rules and what you need to know when you go to cast your vote. While making your final decisions in the last stretch before the election, officials hope you keep a few things in mind. To keep it simple, Hillsborough County Supervisor of Elections, Craig Latimer, wants you to come prepared. We encourage people to bring their sample ballot that they've marked up uh, to vote in person. But if you just wrote it on a napkin or a piece of paper, you're welcome to bring that in too. Guns aren't allowed inside polling places. Latimer says credentialed poll watchers can't talk to voters or poll workers, except the clerk. You can wear campaign gear, but... You can't point at your hat and say, vote for my guy, or, you know, point to your shirt and say, vote for my, my person. Um, that's considered solicitation. In Florida, there's a no solicitation zone within 150 feet of a polling place. ABC Action News political analyst Susan McManus notes it's important to stop any voter intimidation right away. It can tamp down turnout for people, and that's the last thing that you want to happen in an election is for somebody to be intimidated and, and for example, being standing in line and feel so badly that they just leave and don't vote at all. Hillsborough County officials are watching for issues like voter intimidation, but say they haven't had complaints at their polling places so far. On top of the list of their do's and don'ts. What you can do is you can vote, and that's what we want everybody to do. In Tampa, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.